Hey guys, I'll be uh, presenting a 1v1 on Red Comet and I'll be mostly talking about starting build, about what to do in a 1v1, harassing, expanding, the units I make and so on. Just a friendly match here, uh, nothing too special. And um, yeah, let's pick our starting position. Uh, you can already start here for a 3 max slower start or in the center for a 2 max um, quick build. All right, place our first max and press ready. All right, so um, this is that just is uh, one uh, starting build that I use quite a lot actually. And just an example, you can try around different things, but the idea is to get things up and running as fast as possible with as much metal as possible. And uh, here, what we're doing is we're building two mixes, one solar into a Cabot lab. If you're building a vehicle lab or if you're getting three mixes, first you need two solars, but for this, it's just, just enough energy to, uh, to get started. We're going to make some fleas, some construction bots, BVs, and so on. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build a very tight base. So, as you can see, the mixes you don't have to build them right on top, you can kind of build them around the edges. And uh, yeah, we're going to build a tight base such that if we make one LLT, it can cover the entire base. If you have an LLT further away, Fleas can get in from the side and hide behind the building where the LT cannot get them. Alright. So that's two maxes, solar, cabot lab, two more solars, and two LLT. Alright. And with that, we have our fleas ready. I send them over to the enemy here. And before I finish looking at them, Low I'm going to make sure that my commander has a Q. That means. He's going to do a long walk, build some buildings, and so on, and I don't have to look at that too much anymore while I micromanage my fleece. And uh, yeah, this way I don't have to keep going back and forth. Quite useful to have in general long queues for your constructions, for your commander, for your lab, and this way you can concentrate on other things and you don't have to worry so much anymore. Alright, so here I see the opponents do not make any LLT, so I'm going to try and harass from different sides Low power. to try and kill a mech. This, this, most of what we want to do is kill one of these mechs here. If we can do that, great. If not, we're keeping him busy. That's, that's not so bad either. And we didn't manage there. Let's see how this is going. This is going well. All right. Cabots can go in this crater here, whereas vehicles cannot. That's uh, one big advantage that cabots have. And we snuck in, boys. We're in. Good. But we didn't get the max. Too bad. It's not a big deal. Just uh, if you can get that, it's great. If you can't, too bad. All right. So. Um. What I'm doing here is I put my lab on repeat such that my lab builds some regular units and one construction unit every so often. And Low this power. way, we, as we expand over on the map, we capture more mexes. Uh, we also build up our production without even having to look at our base. Oh. He's harassing us here. He forgot to harass this, which is good for us. He's not looking, and we can capture that. Alright. Um, Alright, and uh, every so often, especially when your metal is low, you can send one of your construction outs to capture your maxes. So now that we have a vision here of the entire north, we don't have to worry too much about this side being harassed. We don't see here in the bottom, however, no so we're not going to expand over here. But since we see here, we see the enemy unit coming, we can already send some reinforcement here to different from this. I saw from the speed it was a flash, so I know exactly how many units to send to, to deal with this. 
and uh, if it was a Jeffy, I, I need it less than that. And what you don't want to do is overcome it. You don't want to send too much of your own forces to deal with the enemy, because that's basically time where you're not using that army to do something elsewhere. Alright, so we're gonna harass him, he's gonna chase us, that means he can't use these elsewhere, that's great. If you could get this construction, that would be really nice, but we can't. Low power. And, alright, is he gonna reclaim us? He is going to reclaim us, so let's send some more over there. And uh, we put a flea here, so that means... We can actually see if he's coming from the south, and that means that we can look into building more in the south, expand over here since we have a fleet covering this area. If he goes in the north, we see it as well. So Low all power. is good. Alright, um, let's build some static defense on those sides anyway, so that if they do harass with small forces, we don't have to send an army to uh, go guard over there. Alright, he's gonna go and chase this. In the meanwhile, we can send it in a different direction our units if he's distracted. He's making Janus's and Samsung. That's actually good against our units, a bit slow. And if it's slow, that means that we can uh, outrun him. And we, we should not fight him head on, but rather try to hit him somewhere else. As our economy here, is slowing down since we have a lot of metal, not too much energy. We're gonna make some solars and then a nano to increase our build power. All right. Meanwhile, we want to keep our units moving. I said we don't want to fight him head on too much. We go around him. There we go. All right. Let's retreat over here. Uh, I use this here in the bottom to see if I have any idle construction units. It's really, really useful. Uh, whenever you have something over there, I should look into dealing with that. With harass, we go around his defenses. And this is fantastic. This is this is really good. Um, just try to find some holes everywhere where you can and uh, deal economical damage. That's what you want to do more than anything. More than destroying his units, more than any of those things you want to do economical damage. Alright, he's going in the south. That's uh, a little bit worrisome for me, since I don't have a lot of defenses and I don't want to fight him head on too much. Yeah, as expected, this is that. It's, it's, it's not the worst, alright? It's, it's bad, but lost. it's not so bad. Uh, what I do want to do now is defend my base. There's enemies incoming. Um, LLTs are really cheap, really quick to make. Uh, whenever the enemy is threatening your base like this, immediately blows LLTs as much as you can. Now, we're floating a lot of metal right now. So what we want to do is we want to make a vehicle lab. Ideally, we would have moved to vehicles yeah, earlier. Uh, but yeah, it is as it is. And as I have this much metal. I can also build some solars with my commander on the front in the meanwhile. Uh, he's not doing too much else anyway. And um, yeah, if I want to select all of my units, what I do a lot is I press Control Z when I'm using when I'm selecting units. So I click this one, Control Z, and I have all of them at a time. So I notice he's not following up with too much. Gives me a lot of breathing room. Probably uh, damage from the uh, attack I did earlier. He has a lot of LLTs now everywhere. PVs are notoriously bad against LLTs. You, you need to overwhelm them with like large numbers. Um, so we're not gonna attack him into his LLTs, but we're mostly making sure he's not expanding himself. That's that's what we're looking for here. Um, contain him in his area. And. Um, not allow him to, to get more map control while we get our side of the map Low fully. Power. Yeah, we can send some fleas here and there, harass, see one what he's doing and harass him. Harassing him, him is great because it uh, 
brings his attention somewhere. It can get people a little bit stressed sometimes. Um, it's it's all around. It's great. All right, now he's putting in some pressure. No Stumpies power. are good against peewees, but they need to be in large numbers. And here they're they're really not. I think we can uh, I think we can take this. All right, he's retreating. That's good. Solars and we have now our own stumpies. Now, stumpies are good against LLT, so this is why um, we want his army on one side. So, we want to threaten him, we want to be paying attention to that side of the map and be reactive no to power. that. That's good. And then, in the meanwhile, we send our stumpies to the other side of the map. Um, he has his commander though, and commanders deal with stumpies quite well because the stumpies are slow that means that um, they're easy to be deacons and they only very slightly outrange commanders all right he's advancing if he's uh, if he's retreating it's difficult for peewees to deal with them but since he's moving into us that's easy for the peewees to take care of them all right Alright, we don't need to overchase. GG. He calls it GG. Uh, Alright, so that was uh, that was our game. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, yeah. just uh, put it in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to see any other openings, if you would like to see the opening on a specific map, uh, go ahead. Alright, thanks. See you around. Cheers.